Okay, so the second poem that we're going to be looking at here is a Philip Ferno poem. It's titled, On the Death of Dr. Benjamin Franklin. Sorry, I had to write it in there. It was on the other page, and I didn't want to spend time flipping. All right, <clears throat> so <clears throat> the very first thing that I kind of want to mention about this one is that, uh, look at the title. It's talking about Ben Franklin. All right, so there's going to be like this whole extended metaphor. He's gonna compare Ben Franklin to something. Let's see if you can figure it out. All right, so um, this is a, about admiration. This person admires Ben Franklin. Okay, thus some tall tree that long had stood the glory of its native wood by storms destroyed of length of years demands a tribute of our tears. So let's break right there. So right there we already see he's making a comparison to Ben Franklin to a tree that stood for very long. So long standing tree. Now, and what, what do we know about trees? I mean trees are things that man they could live for hundreds of years. You know, they leave a legacy behind. They provide life to us. They're part of, they're, they're a huge part of the oxygen, uh, oxygen cycle and, and giving us life. And without trees, we would not survive. You know, um, all the different plants that get pollinated and different things like that with trees. So uh, to be compared to a tree, that's kind of a big deal, right? And that's that extended metaphor. This is what it's all about. He's comparing Ben Franklin to that of a tree. That some tall tree, not a small tree, but a tall tree that long had stood the glory of its native wood by storms destroyed, okay, by things that happen and length of years and time demands a tribute of our tears. It's a tribute. This person really is all about Ben Franklin. Uh, we should pay respect to him. All right. All right. <clears throat> the pile that looked long time to raise to dust returns by slow decays uh, we've all heard ashes to ashes and dust to dust right um, what that means is that we're here for a while right and then when we die we we decay we come we turn back into that which we are we turn back into sand we turn back into earth that that is no more right and he's talking about that because Ben Franklin's been gone for a while. So he's talking about that a little bit, okay? But when its destined years are o'er, we must regret the loss the more. So long accustomed to your aid, the world tenements your exit made. So even when we lost you, we still really missed you. So we really missed you. Oh, 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 and going back to this metaphor of a tree. When we think of trees, we think of strength and wisdom. Remember, it was, a, it was an apple that fell from a tree that gave Adam and Eve wisdom. So we think of wisdom and we think of strength. These big, huge strengths. These like sequoias, you know, like trees that will be here after we're gone, you know, and that have been here before we were here. So all this is uh, addressing Franklin and, and it's talking about how much we miss him. Okay. So long befriended by your art philosopher till tis hard to part. We're talking to Franklin here specifically. And we're talking to Franklin, the artist and philosopher. Okay. When monarchs tumble to the ground, successors easily are found. So even when kings die, they're replaced. Right? But not you. But matchless Franklin, what a few can hope to rival such as you? Not Franklin. Franklin will never be matched again. Who sees from kings the scepter's pride and turns the lightning darts aside. Remember, Franklin was one of our founding fathers. He fought the king. He wanted freedom. 
freedom from the king. That's who sees from kings the scepter's pride, right? A scepter is something that king holds uh, that says that they're in charge. But he fought for, against that and, tur and turned the lightning darts aside. Okay. He harnessed lightning. And again, it's an extended metaphor. So it's, it's pretty much a tribute and homage to Ben Franklin. It talks about how great he is and, and compares him to a tree because of the strength and wisdom. Right? So that's the second one. 